Earlier this year, when I decided to work through the backlog of my custom Salamander's chapter, the Firekeepers, it dawned on me that the army was lacking a Master of Sanctity. Naturally, I began sifting through my bits box looking for the parts to make an epic hype man. It's now time. Let's paint a Primaris Space Marine Chaplain. On the table this time is a Primaris Chaplain, and this guy here has been kitbashed using various bits. So before the painting begins, I thought I'd give a rundown on how he is constructed. The base model is a Primaris Lieutenant from the Dark Imperium box. His helmet is actually a damaged Legion of the Damned Sergeant Head, and the Flaming Brazer and Salamander shoulder pad is from the new upgrade sprue. His Crozius is from the Betrayal at Calf Dark Apostle, and his shoulder pad is from the standard Space Marine Chaplain. The tome he's holding is actually from a Skaven Plague Monk's kit, and finally, his half scapular and gem trinket are from an easy to build Stormcast Eternal, and his prayer beads are from a Tempestus Scions banner. Overall, I am very happy with the result. The pose works well, and he looks to have the conviction I would expect from a Space Marine Chaplain. After getting this model primed in black, I will begin with painting the armor joints and metal areas with Iron Warriors. Normally, I do the armor joints in black, but for armor schemes that are dark, I prefer to color the armor joints in a metallic tone to increase its readability against the dark armor. The Codex Astartes mandates that chaplains wear black power armor, but I'll be layering it slightly warmer shifting the hue to a dark red as the brightness increases. The result is a warmer off black, which adds more to the angry feel. You can see the end result on my chaplain dreadnought here. The colors used will be Abaddon Black at the very darkest, and then mixing in Mephiston Red. Because Mephiston Red is such a potent pigment, we don't have to add all that much to get the dark crimson color, which will serve as the brightest tones of the flat panels. Next I have a deviation that I need to address for my Firekeeper's Army's scheme. This is that units with specialized roles, such as this chaplain, keep their entire left arm and shoulder pad in the chapter color scheme rather than just the shoulder pad, which you can see on the Firekeeper's Chief Librarian Antesu here. I will follow the same process I used for Adrax Agato, that being Nocturne Green, Instar's Grass Green Matte, and Citadel Moot Green. The execution here is the same as with the black armor, but I'm keeping in mind that the final color overall should be that vibrant salamander's green. Next, I'm gonna get the base bone colors down. This will be done in Steel Legion Drab, and Army Painter's Skeleton Bone. Many of the areas that are usually gold, such as the Aquila, will also be done as a bone detail for the Chaplain. The same colors will be used for the back half of the scapular and the book paper surface, as that is a key detail of this piece. And the front half of the scapular and the Salamander's shoulder pad will be based in Abaddon Black and then layered with Eshin Gray. Onto the accessories, of which this chaplain has many. Starting with the reds, the beads will be done in Mephiston Red mixed with Abaddon Black, trying to match the brightest color of the Black Power Armor. The book cover and Crozius handle will be done by mixing in a 1 to 1 ratio Rhinox Hide and Mephiston Red, and then mixing in a little bit of Wild Rider Red for the brighter tones. And small spot colored details, such as the Purity Seal Wax, will be blocked in using pure Mephiston Red.
The brass details will be blocked in with Balthazar gold and then layered with Gehenna's gold. The chaplain's pistol holster and pouches will be done in Rhinox hide and then layered with Steel Legion drab to create that leather look. For the LED panel and gemstone trinket, I'll base them using Stegodon Scale Green and layer up the brighter tones using Lothard Blue. For the gemstone, I will handle the gradient individually for each facet. And for the LED panel, the gradient will increase towards the center. And I'll further push the brighter tones by using Baroth Blue. My logic here is that handling the LED panel in this way provides this light emitting detail a unique effect in a relatively short amount of time. The Salamander's insignia will be blocked in using Instar's Cool Grey Matte, which is color matched to Citadel Celestra Grey. Personally, I'm not a fan of how they added a neck to the Salamander's insignia on the Primaris shoulder pads, so I'll be keeping the neck feature black. With all the initial colors and tones blocked in, I will now proceed to begin the wash phase. The Chaplain Black Power Armor will be pin washed using a one to one mix of Abaddon Black and Nuln Oil. And the Salamander Green Power Armor will be pin washed using a mix of Nocturne Green and Bealdhand Green in a one to one ratio. The iron, leather, and red components of the weapons will be washed with Nuln Oil. The bone and paper details will be washed with Seraphim Sepia. As the wash dries on the purity seal paper, I find adding in a watered down, brighter tone, such as skeleton bone, to be a quick but effective way to create a splotchy weathered effect. The gold details and the prayer beads will be hit with Reichland Flesh Shade. The Salamander's insignia will be washed with Coolia Green Shade. And the LED panel and gemstone trinket will be hit with Contrast Talisar Blue and the Purity Seal Wax will be hit with Volipus Pink. Now with the washes dried providing the low lights, the highlighting process can begin. This will start out with edge highlighting the armor. For the Black Chaplain armor, the colors used will be a one-to-one -one mix of Kislev Flesh and Dawnstone. And for the Salamander's armor, I will be using a one-to-one -one mix of Goss Blaster Green and Moot Green. The black scapular is going to be edge highlighted with model colors London Grey. And all the beige elements, such as the bone accessories and paper elements, will be done in New Shapti Bone. The blue gemstone facets will then be outlined using Baharoth blue.
The beads will be finished by placing a dot on each bead with Screamer Pink, and then a smaller dot in Kislev Flesh centered on the previous one. And finally, the Salamander's Insignia will be finished with Cool Matte Gray, and then layering in a little bit of white scar to brighten the tone further to do the edge lighting on the Insignia. And now with all the primary work complete, all that is left to do are the components I consider to be special effects, which include the flaming brazier, the fiery pattern on his sash, the script on the paper elements, and his eyes. I'm going to handle the flaming brazier by wet blending an array of colors ranging from black to red to orange, yellow, and near white. I'll be handling the fire pattern on the sash using the same colors, but not going to the extremes of that spectrum. If you have seen my video on Adrax Agatone, I'll be handling this process in the same manner. The eyes of the chaplain are going to be red, and to maximize the effect, the first step I will do is paint the inside of the eye sockets in Abaddon Black. The colors used for this effect will be Mephiston Red, layered with Wild Rider Red, and for the brightest spots of the gradation of the eye lens is Kislev Flesh. And I'll then add in some white scar for the very brightest points. Small details like the lenses and eyes in general require an extremely subtle application of paint, so be sure to have the minimally required amount of paint loaded on your brush. Unlike digital painting, there are no undos here. And finally, the script. The standard color I use for my script work is a diluted Rhinox Hide. You can use Lamian Medium, but I've found water works just as well. For this chaplain's book, I'm going to use a cooler tone of ink to provide some contrast as a focal point, so I will instead use Stegon Scale Green. As far as the design of the typography is concerned, I would recommend looking up a reference for a layout. I looked up a design from a Diablo 3 textbook and adapted the design, making use of decals to help guide the freehanding of the script. And finally, the paintwork of this chaplain is complete. All that is left to do is the base, which I'll do in the desert scheme of my Firekeeper's Salamander's Army, and add some additional decals. And lo, the Firekeeper's Master of Sanctity, Garricus Tyus, is complete ready to march forth canting his Catechisms of Fire. Thanks for watching. I actually don't have much experience using chaplains on the tabletop, so I don't know how large an impact they make in the current 8th edition meta, so if you guys have had play with the new chaplains, I would be eager to find out how they are performing. But regardless of that fact, I am really happy with the final result of this chaplain, and the purpose he will serve in my chapter's lore. And with that said, I think that brings this video to its end. I feel great about the end result of this character, and I hope you guys found the journey of painting him interesting. And maybe, it can even inspire you guys to search through your own bits boxes to create unique and flavorful characters for your own chapters. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribing is the best way to help this channel grow, and if you have any questions, ask away. So, until next time, into the fires of battle.